Hello guys, here we are Friday morning. Wea, Wea is in the house. This is part of the German Made series, but before we get into that, I want to give a little bit of info on a giveaway. Next week, at some time, if you're a subscriber, I don't care when you subscribe, and you comment an upcoming video that I select next week, you'll be eligible for this Icon Flex Head Quarter Inch Drive Ratchet. It is brand new. It is 90 tooth, not a bad ratchet. I got two of them, I bought one for myself. Actually, I got more than two of them, but I'm giving this one away. So if you're a subscriber, I don't care when you subscribe, you comment a video, come up next week, you will be eligible. We are, we is in the house, part of our Durham Age series. This is gonna be, this is kind of interesting. I bought this set, this is the box that came in. We are, tools that work for you, we are. That's the box that came in, it's a three piece set. It's got the pliers, seven-inch pliers, which are these. It's got the long needle nose, 6.3 inches, which are those, and it's got the 6.3 inch diagonal cutters. I thought it was made in Germany. This is weird because this one on the left I think is made in China, and these two I think are made in Germany. Why do I say that? Because of the grips. Look at the one on the right, or on top now. This one says Germany on it, if you can read it here. Germany. I don't know if you can read it. It's kind of a little bit sketchy looking there. But, and this one doesn't say nothing on it. And the handles are different. This one's got like a cheap vinyl. I never cared for that kind of handle. And this has got like a snap-on handle or a, it reminds me of a snap-on or icon. But it's a little bit more grainy. I think this sets made in Germany and China. So I'll beware of that, you know? But let's take the ones I think are made in China first. I did not know this when I bought it. We, uh, these are the needle nose, obviously. It says it's made out of forged CV tool steel, heavy duty steel riveted joint, soft vinyl grips. Yeah, these got the vinyl grips, the other ones don't. They seem like they're well made still. Even this one here I think is made in China. I did not know this, guys, when I bought it. I would never have bought it, probably, but it's got the cutters. They all got the cutters as well. I believe they probably work pretty good. Yeah, they cut, they cut pretty well, effortlessly. I don't think it's bad, even though this one's made in China. It doesn't say China on it, though, so I, it's confusing. Buyer beware, I always say, right? It does seem like it's well-made, though. You know, I know they make them in different countries. I know some are made in Vietnam. We is all over the place now, so a lot of two companies do that. It does seem like it's well made. You can see the edge of it there. The way it's cut in there, it's cut pretty good. I don't think it's junk, but I'm not 100% I'm not sure where that's made. <laughs> oh, my God, you know. And let's take the, di the diagonal cut uh, cutters here. And that's my dog barking in the background. We, uh, I like these grips. They're like, they're like, they're like a, a rubber, but they're gritty. So you got, they feel good in your hands, and, and they get good, uh, good feel to them, and good grip. See, this one says Germany on it. The other one doesn't. That is weird. They seem well made. This, this one does. It's very, very sharp. River looks good. I'm not finding anything wrong with this. We'll see how it cuts. Cuts pretty good. No issues there at all. That's the shop dog in the background. Sorry, guys, for the noise. I don't know. I got mixed feelings about this set, but I just wish they all had this kind of handle here. I, I do like this handle uh, grip a lot better. This one says the same thing. It says Germany on it. And the other one doesn't. You can see it right there. It's, it's, it's in Germany. I don't know if it says it's made in Germany. I can't, I can't, that word's, that word's German. Somebody might know what that says. <laughs> oh my God. And the same one here. This says wea.com. Here's the players. The players got a very, very nice teeth on them. I do like the way they, they're sharp. Does look well made. I like how the middle here is in the middle. If you're going to grab something that's rounder in the middle, that would definitely help you. These are these are nice players. 
And like I said, they all got the built-in cutters as well. I like to feel this grip in my hand. But so I got mixed feelings about these guys. I don't. I mean, I'll leave a link in the description below. But they had like three or four different sets on Amazon. That's where I bought this. But this set, I don't know. I think it's made in Germany and China, or Vietnam, whatever. This one has no markings on it. That is weird with a different grip. Very, very weird. I thought. But uh, I wanted to share that with you. And uh, I got a few more things to show you in a German made series. And then we'll go into something else because I have. Uh, I've been filling up. I've been filling up the big toolbox little by little over there, and I'll go drawer by drawer to show you how that's coming out. It's coming out pretty nice, and just got some mixed. I guess got mixed feelings about these. I just don't. I don't like these grips. These grips. You know what these grips remind me of? The Tecton grips. Any of you guys got Tecton? That's the kind of grips those are. I like these grips a lot, lot better on these. They got that textured. Uh, harder rubber. It's not like a vinyl so much. Interesting it, interesting take on this is because it's like a, I don't know, I was just, I was just surprised that it's like I got a mixed bag there and it shouldn't have been. It should have been either, either all this style grip or all that style grip. What do you guys think? All right, guys, just food for thought here and I uh, hope you enjoy the channel. I want to thank everybody who has subscribed and sometime next week we'll be giving that, that nice icon ratchet away. Take care, guys, and uh, stay safe.